Today we are grooming Daisy. She is a Havanese. She is a young dog that was just spayed and due to having to wear clothing and a cone during her recovery process, her coat got very matted. So she is here today for an extreme makeover. Good girl. This is not Daisy's first time at a grooming salon. She has been groomed before. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Daisy. Havanese have really soft, silky, smooth hair, and it can be easily matted if not regularly maintained. Now, I can understand why the owners probably didn't brush her for a couple of weeks because they were worried about aggravating her incision. So it's very common sometimes when long-haired dogs like this get spayed that they end up matted. So my suggestion to people is always to bring your dog in before surgery, get them shaved down. That way you don't have to worry about maintaining their coat while they're healing. I'm gonna be a whole new dog. I'm using a seven today. Her matting is not severe enough where I need to use a 10, so that's good. They're so little under all this hair, right? Your hair is so silky soft. Reminds me of a rabbit fur. Let me see. I feel like you have, yeah, you have some matting in your face, but I'm going to try to brush that out so we don't have to make your face bald. Come here. If you are a person that likes to put clothing on your dog, it's really important that when your dog is inside, you remove the clothing or their harness. Don't let them essentially live in that because number one, it's really uncomfortable for your dog. It rubs up against their hair follicles and makes them really itchy and irritated, but also it causes them to get really matted. I can always tell when somebody brings their dog in and they are matted if the dog was a dog that wears clothing. And I always ask, oh, was your dog wearing clothing? And they say, oh yeah, my dog was wearing clothing. That's why they're matted. You gotta take it off. They wanna grow her ears, so we are not going to chop the ear hair today. Gosh, you are extra fluffy. Look at all this hair. So she has quite a bit of matted ear hair. Typically, I do not pluck the hair from the ears, but I always take a look at it. And the reason why is because over the years I found that it does more harm than good and it causes a lot of irritation and can sometimes cause ear infections. So I try my absolute best to not have to pluck. However, when the ear hair like this is matted, then we kind of lose the ability to not have to pluck. At that point, I, I can't go in there with my scissors without potentially clipping the inside of her ears. So I'm removing as much of the hair as possible first with scissors, and then I am going to try to pluck it out. Hopefully she lets me. I always check the ears and you guys will notice in my videos that I really don't do much to ears. I rarely clean them out. And that's just because if it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. I find that once you get in there, you just start causing all kinds of issues for the dog. That's just my personal experience. The ear powder is used to dry out the ear, although the ear hair is not oily on this dog. And it is also used to help grip the hair. Some groomers like to grip all the hair at once and pull it out. I like to just take little 
tiny pieces and work slowly because I find that that is less irritating to the dog than trying to grab all of the hair at one time. It's okay, I know you don't like it. It's important to know that the reason why she doesn't like it is not because it hurts. Um, this is coming out fairly easy with my fingers. Let's try that then. It's actually just because the sound of the hair coming out of the ear is very, very loud. So you can imagine, just imagine you had a lot of hair in your ears and you just started pulling it out. You would hear this loud noise of ripping. So a lot of dogs kind of are freaked out by that noise. It's okay. I know, but you have a lot of hair in there. Come here. Okay, that ear's done, now we gotta do the other one. I'll try to do it with my fingers first. The ear, her ear hair is coming out very, very easy. If it wasn't matted, it would just slide right out. But because it's matted, it's all stuck together. Good girl. You prefer my fingers over the hemostat. Okay, well, you'll use that. Okay, so I don't usually pluck until it's completely clear. I just pluck until I can look down the ear canal and I don't see any matted hair. A little bit of hair still in there is okay. I think that it helps prevent things from going in the ear. That's just, again, my personal opinion. I don't know how much truth there is to that. The last thing I have to do is shave out the armpits with a number 10 because the armpits are matted and I don't wanna go in the armpits with a number seven because that's high risk to cut when it's matted. So I use a 10 in there. Okay, good girl. Good girl. regular soap to the ears instead of tearless to make sure I get all of that powder out. I really like Havanese. I think they're a great breed, great personalities, love their coats, love their size. Definitely highly recommend Havanese to a lot of people, especially for first time dog owners. I think they're great. Don't shake. Don't do it. No, don't do it. Another common reason why dogs get really matted at home is because people bathe their dogs at home and then they allow them to run around and air dry. And if your dog has even a little bit of long fur, and they run around and air dry and rub themselves on everything, it will mat their coat. That's another thing I can always tell. If a dog comes in super matted, I can tell that it's a bathing at home matting. And then I explain that to the owner. And then usually they blow dry their dogs from then on. And that problem stops. If you don't want to blow dry your dog and you wanna be able to bathe them at home, and it's a dog like this that has hair instead of fur, then I would just advise shaving your dog short when it goes to the groomer so that the hair is never long enough to get super matted by bathing at home.
Okay, while I clean up Daisy's area and I disinfect some of the equipment, I am going to place her in a crate to dry and then I will complete her dry once I'm done cleaning up her space. Okay, time to do your head. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put you in this while we do your nails, just in case you try to run away. Good girl. You are a great, easy dog. By the time Daisy is posted, you guys would have seen my matted Husky Malamute video. That dog took me six hours and I was in tremendous pain for a couple of days afterwards. And this is the first dog that I've got to groom since. And must I tell you how refreshing this is. <laughs> Shave your little paw pads. Let's give you a little tidy. Scissors. Sometimes to keep the paws looking more cute and round, I will avoid going over them with the clipper and I would just leave them a little bit fluffier and scissor them. But because she was matted all the way down her legs, I couldn't do that today. So her paws won't look as cute as they could All right, let's brush out your tail and then we'll do your face. Okay, we gotta brush out this face of yours, which is a little bit matted. The ears are okay. So since the ears are okay, I think I'll just do those first.
The end of the ears are just a little bit uneven, so all I'm going to do is even them out because the owner wants to grow the ear hair. All right, let's brush out your face. What am I gonna do with this really bad matting here? I really don't wanna cut it out because it's just gonna look really noticeable if I cut it out. Okay, you got some like food mats in here. I'm just gonna cut those out. Good girl. All right. No licking when I have scissors near your mouth. You're so cute. You have the perfect little face. The perfect little face. And just like that, Daisy is all finished. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe or follow button to support the channel. And I will see you again in a few days.